Yes, we have come to the end of the Business and Markets Week. It's the third week in uh, the month of August. Hello, everyone. Hope you have had a very great week so far. Let's get into the weekend with today's Frontier opening bell. That's the market reading. Just a summary of some of the regional exchanges uh, for Thursday. The Johannesburg stock market uh, are pulled back uh, by roughly half a percent from the new reading of 84,000 uh, on, on Thursday. We thought the 84,000 has come to stay, but just a flash in the pan, as it were, Wednesday through to Thursday. Then the Nairobi stock market came very strongly by roughly half a percent, 105.13 on the Russia index. As we saw, those earnings for some of the biggest banks, KCB Group as well as uh, IMM Bank. Then, of course, the Egyptian market finished its market week Thursday evening, 0.76% better, 30,141. That's the new reading for the EGX30, uh, the most watched index on the Egyptian market. The BRVM was better at 251.61 on the composite, 0.37%. The Nigerian market was down by 0.12%. We saw investors uh, booking profits uh, on uh, some of the big names uh, uh, in the banking sector, FBNH, uh, uh, Stambic IBTC, as well as Zenit Bank. Then you have non-banking names uh, as well uh, in the negative territory. That's all 95,718. The market fell roughly 65 billion naira. Let's get on. See the rest of the continent's big headlines. Uh, Friday, as we start from East uh, East Africa, uh, which of course comprises of the West African uh, region uh, uh, as well. Let's see Ethiopia Minister of Finance uh, Shire is in talks with a visiting uh, team of envoys from China, from uh, China uh, led by the Minister of Commerce for, for the People's Republic of uh, China. The whole idea is to see further relationship in bilateral trade relations, trade investment, <clears throat> all of that with the world's second biggest economy. And just to the north of that, Somali cabinet has introduced two new financial regulations and decided to cut the fee for port access in the country. And the Central Bank of uh, Kenya has uh, assigned a deal worth 14 billion shillings to the German bank to print new currencies uh, for the East Africa's biggest economy. And the East African community has postponed a single currency uh, listed by the year 2031, while Uganda is exploring two new uh, oil blocks, uh, oil, oil, oil uh, locations in two new regions within the country. Uganda is interested, it's a landlocked country, by the way, is interested in joining the hydrocarbon uh, industry in, in Africa with more uh, countries joining that uh, group. Let's uh, touch on West Africa, grab a couple of uh, headlines to start the new week. Uh, to end the week and then begin to look at the final days of 2024 for the month of August. Uh, from Monday, Nigeria is looking for additional $100 billion investments to curb the country's current economic um, uh, conditions. Uh, in the meantime, the uh, economic uh, the business survey by the central bank, a new report for the month of July, shows uh, <clears throat> uh, executives within the Oil and gas, industrial manufacturing, uh, agriculture, and, and, and others believe that the business uh, conditions in Nigeria will improve between the next three months and, and the six months. And that's what that survey uh, says in summary. And Kenya's NCBA is uh, delaying this digital banking business operations to suspended to debut in Ghana. That's 2025. Ghana is also looking to launch Elon Musk uh, Starlink internet access program uh, very soon. And finally, African governments are looking to COP29, taking scheduled for Azerbaijan to grab more funding for climate adaptation on the continent. Let me see what the big news are this uh, Friday morning out of Southern Africa. Sibanye Stillwater gets about 10.5 billion rand to complete it's lithium project uh, in Finland. Why Botswana? Central bank cost interest rates again to 1.9% is the latest. We've saw this week in Rwanda central bank cut interest rates as well. All eyes now set on September 19, a repo rate decision by South Africa's Reserve Bank and Nigeria's central bank on September 24. Lukara has found the second biggest diamond in Botswana mine that's 2,492 carats is a big one gem diamond in the rough they got transnet has praised court decision in South Africa that gave a total of 100 years jail term to four real facility thieves those thieves were accused 
of damaging and stealing various parts of logistics uh, infrastructure of Transnet in South Africa. And so it says uh, it's, it goes with the court's decision. And finally, Namibia's central bank says the local uh, FX controls um, are good for oil and gas investments. That's part of the sunbites out of the two-day Namibia oil and gas conference, which ends today in Vindowek. Let's uh, touch on finally in North uh, Africa, which uh, Naya Development says is investing 46 billion Egyptian shillings in the real estate market of North Africa's biggest market. In the meantime, the MS, uh, MS Meda, as well as Aman, uh, Aman uh, signing uh, 100 million Egyptian pounds of founding agreement, while Egypt is looking to return uh, oil and gas to return to oil and gas production normality by the year 2025. Egypt is currently importing gas, as it were. Uh, into the country to keep his uh, electricity uh, running. And finally, the Socialist Forces Front presidential candidate, Youssef, is uh, touting that he will bring in policies in Libya that will help youths to invest in the markets, uh, also empower them with uh, innovation. And those are your headlines this uh, Friday, the 23rd of August. Have a great weekend, everyone. I enjoy to have one. Please try and let's get back together on Monday to continue from here.